everyone welcome to my channel today I'm going to share another video this is steps and tips how to prepare your white beans before you bring to boil because I will tell you this through my experience before I did not uh, do this kind of steps no matter how long I boiled the beans I still experience an evenly cooked beans so that's the thing that it's really, you know, it's really important once you cook beans because you want the beans cooked. So today, I'm going to share with you guys the steps that I figured it out so that you will not experience what I experienced before. And this is very helpful steps that you will experience perfectly cooked beans. So if you're ready, I will show you the steps. So this is our white beans. So it doesn't matter how much you have or how many cups you have. So this is for one cup. So this is only the steps that I'm going to uh, tell you guys. So you have to wash this twice and then squeeze the beans. And then after that, add enough water to cover the beans and let it soak for 12 hours. This is the beans that I soaked for 12 hours. You need to squeeze and wash the beans for two times. Because it's very important. Once you soak this for 12 hours, you need to wash the beans before you bring to boil but this one I will show you guys the test which beans is good and which beans is not so this is okay so let's sit aside that and we need stainless casserole for the test we just add a little water in our beans. Okay, here we go. Drop a, drop the beans on the casserole. So this is no good. And you can hear right away the difference between the good and not good. So this one is no good. Okay. Another test. So, I don't hear it any... Oh, here we go. So, that's the difference between the good beans and not good. You can tell the sounds once you drop in the casserole. So, it's very important, guys, to use stainless casserole because, you know, it's easy to figure it out which beans is good and which beans is not. So this is good. Oh, here we go. I got one. So there's no sound. It's different. They all same sound. So this is okay. So this is very important, guys, that you know. I figure it, I figure it out this kind of test. Because before I experienced that, you know, I always eat, no matter how long I boiled the beans, it still has uncooked beans. So this kind of test is really good. It's very helpful to enjoy evenly cooked beans, not unevenly. So we don't want that. We want evenly cooked beans okay so the thing guys you don't have to get a lot of beans on the 
ball you have to get just enough for the test because it's easy for us to figure it out which beans is not good and which beans is good so I get one so you just keep doing this guys until you are done for the test so this kind of measurement just one cup this is good for two to three person to make a pork and beans so this is okay so another test So we're almost done. Mm -hmm. Another one. So you can tell, guys, that you know the other beans is change. They become bigger, but you know the not good beans. It's still the same. And I can tell that, you know, they're very hard. As hard as the rock. So this is, we're done. So this is okay. And this is ready to boil. So this is the good beans. You can tell. Or you can see that, you know, they expanded, you know, they become bigger. While the other beans, look, they're still the same. No matter how long you soak in the water, they never change. So this is the beans that are not good. So I have another test, guys. So drop the beans in the sink. See the sound? This is the test for the not good beans. It's really different. And I will try the good one. See the sound is different. So this one is not good. Okay, and this one is good. So I need to wash this and bring back to the pot. So this one is ready to throw in the garbage. And we need clean water to cover the beans. So this is ready. So let me bring this to the stove. So you have to boil this for 4 to 5 hours. But you have to check time to time. And then if the water is almost gone, you have to add another cups or another volume of water. So it's up to you how much of water you add. So let's bring this to boil and we need to cover this. Shout out to my members, Sarah Kaano at Ibapa, Yuki and Vander, Lucina Taja, Noreen Srela, Dorimon Mix Hunter Vlog, Maralyn Abduma, Famous Genomus. Thank you so much guys to join to my membership join button to my channel. I really appreciate that from you all. So we just wait until the 
beans is boiled so this one we don't need to keep this all we need to do is just throw it in the garbage so this is the kind of beans that ruin the good beans so the beans is boiling so we need to load a fire so guys you have to boil this like I said four to five hours until the beans look cooked Reminder guys, once you boil the beans, you always check your beans time to time. Especially when the water is almost gone, you have to refill the water until the beans is look cooked and don't burn your beans, okay? After 5 hours of boiling, this is how it looks now. And I can tell you guys that the beans is perfectly cooked. And for those who wants to cook right away your pork and beans, you can do it. But for me, I let it cool. Once it's cool, put it in the Ziploc store in my freezer by the time that I need to cook pork and beans I have beans ready I would like to invite you all to join to my membership join button because it's available now in my channel so I have four levels there so each level has price indicate so it's up to you which level you want to join that's a big help for my channel if you join and I also accept donation from other countries all you have to do is just go to my description section in my channel I write it down my people email address so you're very welcome to donate to my channel that's a big help for my channel to have donation came from you guys so again thank you so much for joining with me thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe my youtube channel Elibet Tate channel give me a like comment and you can share also my video to others and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you always notify thank you